This is Bumper to Bumper TV. It took a minute, but Subaru may be finally getting it right in the EV space with the Solterra SUV. Built on the eSubaru global platform, the Solterra has an overall length of 184 inches, which puts it into the midsize segment. Here are some things we found in it that we liked. The internal ergonomics were spot on for an average size adult in both the front and rear seats. Of course, squeezing a third person in the middle position would be a tight fit, but with a flat floor, knees won't be in the rider's teeth. We also appreciate the cargo space, which is pretty decent at just over 23 cubic feet. A rubberized mat in that space continues the brand's no-nonsense approach of what it will be used for. Underneath that surface, of course, is the level one charging cable and an inflator kit in the event of a flat tire. Under the hood is a dual electric motor setup powered by a 72 kilowatt hour battery pack. It delivers 215 horsepower and 249 pound feet of torque. That's enough to get down the highway and off road with ease. Our test vehicle was the Touring trim level with a 222 mile range on a full charge. If this technology sounds familiar, it should, since the Solterra is assembled by Toyota for Subaru. For the record, it is eligible for the $7,500 federal tax credit, but only if leased or purchased as part of a fleet deal. Mechanically, it's still a Subaru with proven all-wheel drive and several drive modes to handle anything from rock climbing with an 8-inch ground clearance to easily handling a cruise down the interstate on 20-inch wheels and all-season tires. The rest of the brand's unique driver assistance and safety tech are baked in as part of the Touring package. We found the handling to be quick and similar to small, nimble vehicles from a few decades ago, making it easy to maneuver in city traffic. What Soterra also demonstrates is that shared technology can be the way to navigate the change to battery electric transportation going forward. I'm Greg Morrison.